Okay, so two things, or maybe three things. I've just got an email from uh, Anna at uni who said, who like in control of um, lending out equipment and that sort of thing. She has just been able to find me a touchscreen monitor, I think, or touchscreen television, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes with a computer or anything yet, so we'll have to look into that, but as in like a built-in touchscreen computer, but I've got that, so that means that the main part of my project can go ahead. On the second note, because I because it's now less than a week until my assessment, until say the project is due in that respect, I pretty much well I made a backup plan. And I thought well I'm not going to go in there without the touch screen that I want because it's just it's not the project is about the interaction and the involvement involved in it. So I put together a video of uh, a screen capture of Google Earth and I recorded all the different parts to it and what all the different clicks you do and click on the different pictures and scanning around the globe and that sort of thing. I did all of that and uh, I screen captured it and edited it, put it into a video and uh, I was creating a a YouTube interaction video which it puts you can put little clickable links into a video that moves it on. You see you can do a link where it moves into 15 seconds inside the video. So it give you a similar experience to to what it would on Google Earth and I've I've spent the past couple of days doing that basically to to kind of do it as a bit of a backup plan as as an alternative kind of thing to show what it what the project would be like if if that was the case. So in a way I'm 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 really happy to have the the touch screen and to or well, I should be able to use it tomorrow or the day after to try and test it out and everything. I'm happy to be able to have that and I'm happy that uh, Anna's been able to find it for me but I'm sort of annoyed that I've gone to all this effort and perhaps it, the video that I have made won't be marked. The, the, I've spent three days doing that, I've spent three days editing, working things through to try and get it to work. So in that in that respect it's a little bit annoying to figure all that out because that has probably taken longer than what it ha would be to just do the touch screen. Uh, I think I'll have to I'll have to find a way to get that involved in the project because that was a big that was really was a big piece of the project to be honest. Uh, on on a better note, on such a good note, something has arrived in the post. And this would be One World One Photo Book. There's the back. Now, if I just show you, I, I tell you what, I'm so pleased with how it's turned out. I'm just over the moon with it. It just looks fantastic. Uh, I'll show you the first page. Now, come on, does that not look like a proper book? That is an absolutely fantastic thing. Now, I think, I, I just think you need the book. The book makes the project, really. Uh, oh, let's put the thing back on. There's them two pages. I won't go through the entire book, but you'll you'll get me drift in a minute. Because um, the book has got double page spreads in it as well. So, I mean, come on, that no. If I was to tell you that was that was one of my, you know, someone that I actually knew, and basically, what does he do? Um, business management or something like that, business management degree. He's not a photographer. He's nothing like that. And just look how fantastic that looks. There's people who are artists and who are photographers and stuff just, uh, you know, haven't taken as good pictures as what other people have. I think, it, you know, it's excellent the amount of, the, I think it's excellent what this project has done for people, been able to do. I'll show you this. It's another du double, I think, I did a lot of double page spreads just because I think, you know, the pictures are so fantastic and such good quality that a lot of them deserve to go on a, on a double page. Like if you look, I mean, like I'm currently. This is my head, and this is the book. The book's absolutely massive. I mean, so so well worth the, well worth the money and well worth the effort put into it. Because it's just oh, it's just fantastic. I must have spent a good fifteen hours putting this book together to get it all right and 
to just to be able to get it so you know because it's important to have the images and the the things like that all match up. I think that's so important to have it in the right place. You know, there's I could have easily gone auto auto import and it would have put all the pictures in name order, let's say, or what whatever like that. It would have just done like that. I think that would have been so easy to do, but it's important that you have to arrange a book properly and you have to you know, arrange that it's it's all to do with the project and that sort of thing. You have to you have to give it justice. I'm not and to be honest, I didn't with some of the pictures, I've I've done them a little bit smaller than what others are because the quality wasn't there, and I could have it quite easy gone. Well, I'm not going to put your picture in because the quality is not good enough. But, but who am I to tell them that the quality of the picture isn't good enough? Now, how many um, photographers are there out there? I I, I tell you, I know so many photographers that are out there that um, base their work off of mobile phones and taking a picture on a mobile phone and uploading it, and that is their work. So the quality. Of the image does not make a difference. The quality adds to the image in some respects. So that's what what people do. And so even in these, in in this book, and some of the images that are a bit small, okay, they've been blown up to the size of A3, or whatever the size it is. So the quality quality isn't going to be brilliant, but just it just adds. To be honest, it adds to it, and it just you kind of go, well, I can see that these are different people, and it's all from different disciplines, that sort of thing, and. I think that's important. I think it's important to know that. Uh, um, you know, I'm ever so happy with the book. I think it just looks it it looks amazing. I'm I'm happy. Like look look how thick it is. Like, can you see that? One world, one photo. I just think, oh, I'm so pleased with it. And like, come on, that that image is just fantastic. That is. I don't know if you can see it properly, but. It's a little globe, basically. It's called um, uh, oh, what's that called now? A pol, something like a polarized panorama or something. And you do it th through twisting it around polar coordinates, so the image is like that. With so the image is flat like this, and you just basically go. Oh, I think it's that way. And you, oh no, it's that way, yeah. So you do that. So basically, all the everything that was in the sky, so buildings and trees, they all get stretched round like this. So you get that, so you get a globe in the middle, and then all your trees and everything that go around the outside like that. I think that's fantastic. Um, I mean, that's that's excellent news. So I've got a touch screen, I've got my book. That's, you know, that's that, I couldn't ask for anything more. That's what I wanted. So um, with just, just under a week to go now, uh, it's, you know, time to crack on with doing my sketchbook and that sort of thing. I mean, I've... I've researched Pete, relevant artists and that sort of thing, Michael Landy, and I still want to develop this this project. Uh, it's still important to, to want to develop One World One Photo, and to take it further and take the idea further of you know mass collaborations and who controls art and that sort of thing. And it's 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 relevant. It's got relevant theories about it, so it's still something I want to take further, and it's something I want to develop still. Um, I'll keep you updated, that's for sure, I know. Uh, and I'll get cracking.